I, I had the idea out on my run, uh, run running through the tunnel, had, saw, saw it just freshly cleaned, got home and I thought, you know, why don't I sort of see if this idea has any kind of traction or reaction out in the community? So I posted a post on Facebook, pretty lengthy post, and it started to get likes and comments and shares. And the thing that struck me the most was that you know, it took a little while, but it got about 450 shares around Regina, which to me was kind of, and, and, and the comments were all positive. People were like, wow, you know, neighborhood beautification, what a, what a neat thing. So it made me kind of feel, hey, there might be something in this. We were watching to see what's going to happen with it, you know, who's, who's going to come up and, and uh, we didn't want to step on anyone's toes. And so we reached out to the city and also to our Cathedral Area Community Association board. And everybody was really on side and supportive, and they said, yeah, let's do it. It's going to be a renewable wall. It'll be sectioned off into a bunch of different um, panels for artists to work on. And we have suggested in our uh, application if you can express that theme, uh, which for us is a pearl, a grain of sand becomes a shimmering pearl, which is what's happened with the festival over the years. That's what uh, we're hoping for. I think this turning turning from this bland beige scurry through space into a beautiful tunnel i think it actually might become a really talked about point in in regina's uh, sort of cultural tapestry like i really think this is a a really special project that we can sort of almost invigorate arts and culture in the city instead of just being a dank boring uh white tunnel it'll have stories about our community and it'll also be a place where we can see artists develop. We're really hoping to, to make it a, a hidden gem in the city and a destination for people who don't even know it's here.